Hello there, Libra. Welcome for your second half of October 2022 love reading. Okay, let's see what's going on from Libra. We're starting off with the Three of Cups. Okay, so some kind of celebration. You might be going to a wedding or a party or some kind of social event. Or you're celebrating something you're very happy about. Crossing you, we have here the Page of Swords. Okay, Page of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy. And this is also, someone might be keeping an eye on you. Maybe someone's watching in order to ask you out for some, to this event here. Someone might be wondering if they'll be, if you would say yes to them. Let me get a charm on this. But they're keeping tabs on you. And we have, oh, okay. Here we have the badminton or, or tennis racket here. So either the birdie or the tennis ball stuck in the net here. So, I think you probably did something here. You're waiting for this person to come back, but they haven't come back yet. But an answer or something, I'm following back for it. But this, this is stuck on them. And maybe, you know, they don't know what to do here. I don't know. But this is a spy guy, too. Someone might be watching you. Watching your social media or um, asking friends about you. Or, you know, trying to find out more information about you. It might be someone that you know from the past. Or it might be someone brand new that's interested in you. General energy around you. We have the five of wands. I think there's a lot of competition. Okay, in the recent past, we have the Four of Cups. I think you've just been doing your own thing. And I think, yeah, someone wants, wants to make an offer, but they haven't done it yet. They, they don't know what to do here. Okay, we have, coming in the near future, we have the Page of Wands. You're going to get communication, though. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Let me get a charm on this. Could be anyone. Oh, we have the Unicorn. One of a kind, magical... Uh, mythical type of thing here. I always see this as it's very unique. Whatever this is, either whatever this person is going to do or come towards you, or they just see you as unique, but it's a very unique energy. And we have here the nine of wait, nine of, yeah, nine of wands. Okay. I feel like you're very protective, or you are being very protective. May you have your guard up with this card here. The outside influences we have. The Knight of Swords. Well, someone's coming towards you. What an offer here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let me get another charm. And we have the peace. They're coming in peace. They want to make peace with you. They're coming in quick. Okay. In your energy, we have the Ace of Pentacles. You're doing quite well here financially, or you're starting something new. You could be starting a new business. You're doing well, though, with the Ace of Pentacles here. Or there's an offer coming in that's going to be a very lucrative offer a golden opportunity oh you are shining bright you have the star hopes and dreams and wishes are coming true and and we also have temperance coming in so you be balanced things out sagittarius energy being patient and we have the king of wands okay we have someone coming to you that's very passionate aries leo sagittarius or this also could be you coming into a leadership role okay we have the rabbit this is going to happen fast it's going to hop into your life real fast with the rabbit and we have the death card. Okay, so there's an ending for a new beginning. Scorpio energy. And then we have the page of cups here. Okay, someone might be showing up with apology. With a love offer. Let's see what we have here. We have the frog. Yeah, they might go through a transformation. Might come leaping into your life. or take. They might be taking the leap of faith to come towards you. Or hopping in. We do have transformation with the frog though. Let's see. Why do we have... The Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? Let's see why the Three of Cups is here. We have the Two of Cups. Okay, someone could either be asking you out because they want this partnership with you or having a good time. Or you could even meet someone at a social event with the Two of Cups here. That could be too. Let's see. So, if you get invited out, go. <laughs> see what happens. Okay, why do we have this page of swords here? Let's see. Why do we have this page of swords? And we have the five of cups. Okay, yeah. So this person here that wants to um, go out with you here, they are having a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. This is from somebody from the past for most of you. Um, and they're really crying over these three spilled cups, not seeing the possibility of two cups. Now we have the two cups here and the two cups here, so there's very strong possibility that you guys can partner up. Now let's see, why do we have the five of wands here? 
Why is a five of wands here for Libra? Ooh, we have the universe. So that might be the world card. Something ending to something new to begin. Um, I think there's competition to get your attention, though. Because you're ending a cycle and you're starting a new cycle. What about the four of cups? We have judgment. Okay, yeah, this is a person from the past. They want to offer you their cup or they have wanted to offer, but they're afraid that you're going to turn them down because you're going to have to make a decision on this person here. They're coming back in. Got the judgment, got the universe card. This is coming back around. Finish the cycle, something new coming in. Okay, now what about this page of wands here? The emperor. Ooh, you could be dealing with Aries. Or someone wants to get in touch with you because they see you they also be offering you a job a position seeing you as being able to take control take take charge of a situation or this is saying you are in charge so you're going to get some kind of communication though what about this five of um i'm sorry nine of wands i don't know why i said five we have the four of cups again yeah someone it wants to make an offer but they see you as very defensive <laughs> hard to approach but they're they're gonna do it what about this knight of let me put this here knight of swords we have this is okay this is the sire of wands so this would be the king of wands aries <laughs> leo sorry sorry, turd. <coughs> sorry got a little tickle this person has a lot of passion for you this is, this was a king of wands, and this is a king of wands. Yeah, someone has a lot of passion and desire for you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Coming in here quickly, wanting to make it off. Oh, we have the Eiffel Tower. So this could be something to do with French, France, Paris, Eiffel Tower. If anything of that makes any sense to you. Someone could be French. You could both be French. You could be in France, <laughs> or you could be going to France, or you want to go to France, or... Someone speaks French. Okay, whatever, however resonates with you here. Very romantic, though. Okay, what about this Ace of Pentacles? We have the Chariot. Okay, this is coming in quick, this Ace of Pentacles, this offer. Um, cancer Energy. So expect the offer to come in real quick here. What about the Star? You're shining bright, getting a lot of attention. I like it. And we have the Eight of Cups. Okay. Either you're walking away from something to go to your your um, fame and fortune, or someone might be walking away from something to come to you because they see you as their wish fulfillment. Okay, what about the temperance card? Why is the temperance card here? We have the sire of swords. So this is the king of swords here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone um very intelligent. You might have a couple people here interested in you. But this is balancing things out. Maybe having a discussion to balance things out with someone here. And what about this King of Wands? Oh, let me get a charm on that. Gotta get a charm on the Sire of Swords. And we have... Ooh, a spider web with a spider in it. Okay, when I see a spider with a spider, I feel like this is a person that has set the web. And now they're trying to lure you into it. So I don't know if I like that so much. Or it also could be that someone's very creative because a spider web is very creative. That could be too. Or they're very creative with how they want to talk to you. Or they could be very creative with the words. So pay attention to their actions because if they're very creative with the words, yeah, pay attention to their actions. So why do we have the King of Wands here? We have the Six of Wands. Okay, this King of Wands wants victory with you. Or this also could be you guys are coming into a victory. Maybe you're starting your own business or starting something where you're getting a lot of attention. I feel that, I feel both that people are coming towards you. They want to be, they're interested in you. And you're also doing quite well in your business. Now, what about this? The Death card, Scorpio Energy. Ending, new beginning, rebirth, major transformation that card comes in. So we have, we have the Two of Swords. Okay, you got to try and make up your mind on something. I think you do have a choice, maybe, between the King and of Swords and the King of Wands here. You do have the King of Wands here twice. 
And this is, who's this? The, oh, this is the Emperor. Okay. Could we deal with an Emperor, too? Okay, on the bottom deck, we do have the Four of Swords. You're taking a time out, a break. You might be healing from a third party situation or some kind of pain here. We This dragon is laying on this sword, but has these swords above it. So, taking a time out, taking a break. Let's see what else we have for you guys. Let's see what else. Okay, what else do we have here for Libra? What's going on here? Ooh, Eight of Wands. Things are going to start moving quickly here. It could be a lot of communication or a lot of projects. It could be very busy. And we have the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, maybe teaming up with someone and having a lot of work. This is partner up with someone. And we have the Judgment. You're going to have to decide on something here. Judgment card twice here. Definitely going to have to make some sort of decision. Something might be coming back around. Okay, we have here the Six of Wands, but you're going to be victorious. Something's happening real quick. And, ooh, and it's a tower. It's going to be shocking you that the, whatever comes in here. You might be getting recognized for something, or you're standing above the rest. And this tower, Aries, um, Scorpio energy, it's coming out of the blue, whatever's happening here. You're not expecting this. And then we have the Page of Pentacles. Someone's coming in with an offer here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be a job offer. It could be... Um, it could be a love offer too. We have here. Oh, this is spirit communication. You're going to be communicated. Spirit might be also um, helping send this person towards you to, with this offer. Okay, what else do we have here? What else? We have the Four of Pentacles. I think you're keeping things to yourself because with the Four of Pentacles, this is holding back, keeping things for yourself. You might be um, building your nest egg here, and you're not letting other people know. Okay, let's see. We have here the Magician. You are manifesting. Okay, this is going to shock people. For me, the Magician is Aries and Aquarius energy. This is manifesting. You have all the tools you need to manifest what you need to. And you're keeping this under wraps. You're not letting other people know. What else we have here? The Empress. Okay, I was hoping we would get the Emperor and Empress. We have the Emperor out and we have the Empress. I think you are the Empress. Either one. You know, take it whichever way resonates with you. But I feel like you are manifesting with the Empress here. This is one of the most abundant cards in the deck. So you are um, manifesting your finances here. You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Chariot here. You have the Magician plus the Empress here. You're st you have the Six of Wands that came up twice. So you're getting a lot of attention here. You're in the spot. And you have the Star. Yeah, you're definitely doing quite well with your finances. Money's coming in. And we have the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is also coming around towards you. Let me get a charm on that one. This is also saying you're doing quite well with your finances. You're doing good here. Oops, let me see who I dropped here. Okay, we have a little angel with a heart. This person might be coming with a message here. Some kind of love message. Okay, let me start doing the words. Okay, I'm going to start with that King of Pentacles. I don't want to skip anybody. So let's see, what's going on with this King of Pentacles? We have Reunite, Caring, Desire. Okay, you could have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone that's very stable, reliable, does well with their finances, coming towards you, wanting to reunite because they care about you. They have a lot of desire for you. What about this... Um. Okay, here's the Emperor. Okay, what about this page of wands here? What's the scoop on that one? We have love, gift, and married. Okay, I, I don't think this person's married. I think this person wants to get married to you. I think this is your Emperor. It could be Aries, and I think you're the Empress. So you have someone that's coming in that is your... Uh, you're a power couple with this person. But you also have these other people too. So let's do this now. This is the king, I mean the sire of swords. So it's king of swords. Let's see what's going on with this one. What's the scoop on this king of swords? We have here. Admitted. Love. Sharing. Okay. This person wants to share their feelings with you. They they want to admit that they love you. And they hope that you feel the same way too. 
And then we have here, this is the King of Wands. Let's do this one. What's the scoop on this one? And we have future money and change. Okay, so there's going to be some kind of change with your money in the future. I think you, if you're getting a better position here, that means you're going to get me getting more money. That could be. Okay. Now, I don't need anybody here. That's death card, yeah. Okay, so let's do this one so I don't skip it. Let's see. What about this page of pentacles? What's going on with that? We have after sexual third party. Ooh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so someone had a third party. Hmm. That's what might be that what might shock you to find out that someone had a relationship with someone else here and they're sexually active. A bird, little birdie might tell you. Wow. Now, of course, that's not going to be for everyone. So you might be finding out about this. It might be coming in. Alrighty. Okay, let's see. What's the next person? Okay, we need to do sugar. Anybody here? No, okay. So is this page of swords, the spy guy, spy girl. Also with the page of swords, you could be learning something new here. But this is a person who has a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. <clears throat> I think the balls in their court. Let's see what we have here. We have important, honest, exposed. So someone's something's going to be exposed and it's going to be something of important and it's going to be honest whatever it is here so it's going to be the truth now we have make sure i don't skip anybody okay no nope nope okay so this king this other oh wait wait we have the knight the knight of swords and king of wands okay let's do the knight of swords let's just scoop on this knight of swords contact keeps the money Committed. Okay, someone might be contacting you to commit to keep the money, or they are keeping the money. I don't know, it's gonna be different for everyone. This is bringing in the peace too with this knight of swords coming in quick. So someone's gonna contact you. Maybe they want to be committed to you, or they are committed, or maybe they're committed to have you keep the money. I don't know. Whatever. Um, okay, the sire of wands, which be the king of wands. We have expect return alone okay for some reason this person's going to return alone i don't know why they would return with someone else but that might make sense to you so expect them to return alone did they leave with someone else and they're currently returning alone oh maybe they went to paris and now they're coming back or they live in paris and that now they're returning to paris whatever if <laughs> it works for you okay what about this um page of cups now this could be someone coming in leaping in your life here we have the x want present okay the x might want to be in your life in the present they're leaping in they might be bringing a present or they might be presenting you with something but they want something okay that's all the people okay now let's see what signs we have let's see what signs we have oh boy something exciting is happening here I wonder what's happening for you guys. <laughs> this tower. Oof. But you are doing well. Whatever's happening here, I think you're doing well. I think the thing is that you're getting all your financial affairs in order. And you're doing quite well. Whatever you're doing here. We have Sagittarius. Scorpio. Scorpio. Aries. Sagittarius, wow. And Virgo. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Sagittarius, Scorpio, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Virgo. Now let's do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both the first and the last name, someone has a middle name, you know that name, you get that initial also. All the better. Past, present, future, also your own. 
we have L, Y, oop, two, E, V, W, X, K, S, oops, moving stuff, D, O, J. All right, so the letters I have for you are L, Y, E, V, W, X, K, S, D, O, J. Now for the names. Let's see what names we have for Libra. What are the names, please? What are the names? Um, We have enough names. <clears throat> we have Jeffrey, J E F F E R Y, Natasha, Anna, Ashley, Courtney, Oliver, Jared, Levi, Tosha, T O L E S H A, K K Y, Syria. S, oh, sorry. Let me start again. C I E R A and Betty. Okay, so. Okay, we have 12. Awesome. All right, guys, so those are the names. Now remember, these are general readings, they're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love you guys so much, and I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.